Two and a half years ago, I hiked to this huge waterfall I found on satellite imagery. Hidden deep in the Australian rainforest, this waterfall is very rarely visited. It's only accessible by walking downstream to the top of the falls, which is where I made it to last time. It's pretty much impossible to try a hike up the creek to the base of the falls because of other impassable waterfalls downstream. The terrain surrounding this waterfall is basically just sheer cliffs, making it seemingly impossible to get from the top of the waterfall down to the base without abseiling. Got the overnight packs on and we're planning to do what I haven't heard of or seen done yet, and that's to trek around and try get down to the base of the falls and set up camp in the hammocks. This mission's starting off a little bit different to how most missions start. And as you can see, we're on the pushies and then there's six k's of the road that you've got to either walk slash ride to get to the creek with that waterfall on. Because we've got these heavy overnight packs on, the slightest bit of incline and it's like insanely hard to ride the pushies. So we're basically just walking the bikes on the little uphills and then cruising them on the downhills. And yeah, it's gonna save us heaps of time compared to walking. First stage done, that's the pushy ride. Now we're on the creek, following it downstream to the top of the falls, that's the second stage. Then once we get to the top of the falls, that's where things get really hard. Neither of us has progressed further on from there, so it's all unknown and we've just got to figure it out once we get there. Both of us have actually been here before, just as a day mission to the top of the falls. The best feeling about doing an overnight mission is knowing that you don't have to do the mission back out the same day. Just coming up to the top of the falls now. We're only about like a hundred meters away from it. Woo! Let's go. This is our lunch spot. Gonna have a bit of a break here and then start on stage three, which is gonna be the rough bit as of this point now, before we start heading down to the base of the falls. I've got to fill up my camel pack out of the creek and the rest of my drinking water from this mission is coming out of this dirty creek. All right, we've moved on to stage three now. And this is the hard part of the mission. We're literally just working away from the falls, working around the steep edge that surrounds the falls until we can find some sort of a ridge line that we can follow down. We are pushing through. <clears throat> Some insanely dense vegetation right now. Like it, this whole scrub is just laced with this wait a while spiky vine. So we've tried probably four or five different ridge paths now and all of them have failed. And we're literally at the brink of calling it quits and head, heading back to the top of the falls and just camping there for tonight. It's 3, 3.30 in the Arvo 
and we've got our last straw here. We're finally onto like a proper uh, knife edged ridge line type thing and it checks out with what's on the topo maps. So this is our very last option. And at this point, we're gonna get down there with very little light in the day, even if we do get down there. So we just gotta try punch it down here. But still have no idea if we're gonna get down. Deep as hell. I was slowly getting down. Right. I cannot believe this right now. Quarter past four, over four hours, we've been trying to get down here. We're not even at the base of the falls yet, but it's only a couple hundred meters up there. But fuck, it's a good feeling right now Woo. because dead set, we were just saying like, literally 15, 20 minutes ago, we were, we were at the tipping point of giving up, like turning around or just literally camping on the ridge because we were at the point where it was too far to to head back up to the top, we wouldn't have even got back up there by dark, so. And we were running out of water. We're on the creek, we got water. We've got trees to set up the hammocks. Oh, I can see glimpses of it. <laughs> Woo! Let's go! That's insane! I cannot believe I'm here right now. Like it doesn't even feel real. It's all worth it when you stand here and get to experience this moment. Like this is what it's all about. This is why I do this. This is everything that I hoped it would be, and more. Had such an awesome afternoon down here. We had like just enough time to set up camp, get some shots and settle in before dark. It's gonna be dark very soon now, so gonna fill up my water for tonight that I'm gonna cook with and also drink. Yeah, not keen to drink more of this brown creek water, but is what it is. Getting this water where there's the most flow possible. <laughs> you be right? A bit brown, eh? <laughs> <laughs> now the best part, I'm gonna actually get to go for a bit of a swim and freshen up. How's this for a spot to wake up at? Doesn't get better than this.
packed up, had brekkie. Now it's time to get the hell out of here. That's the end of this one. Plenty more off-grid missions coming up. Just like this video, so if you like this one, plenty more on the way. Catch you on the next one.